CMPD leaders will be holding a briefing today to discuss crime all across the city since the start of the year. Yeah, the update comes as the agency is desperate to reduce juvenile crime following a 33% increase in the number of shootings involving an underage suspect last year. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heimberger is live outside of CMPD headquarters this morning. And Sydney, what else can we expect law enforcement leaders to discuss later today? Well, Jason and White, of course, everyone's main concern is violent crime. And so far this year, we've seen about 40 homicides. That's compared to about 24 homicides in 2023 in this same time frame. And another major hot topic, another major uh, crime that we have been seeing last year was vehicle break-ins and thefts. Property crimes last year rose 17% in the city, which the department attributed largely to a rise in those car break-ins and thefts. Now, an average of 22 cars were stolen each day in Charlotte last year. That's an 120% increase from the year before. And out of 1,200 auto theft arrests made last year, juveniles accounted for more than two thirds of them. Take a listen to Chief Johnny Jennings discussing the issue at the department's 2023 crime review that happened in January. Uh, we have significant issues dealing with the juveniles that feel like that it's a game to go out and steal a vehicle uh, or it's uh, it's fun to go out and break into cars and steal items from inside of cars and that the increase that we've seen as a result of that has been detrimental to our efforts in managing crime. At this exact time last year, CMPD launched its Stolen Car and Recovery Law Enforcement Team, otherwise known as Scarlet, to try and combat some of these high profile and expensive car thefts that they were seeing. And just a couple weeks ago, the department announced 500 charges were being filed in association with a crime ring for some of those luxury car thefts that we were seeing. Reporting live at CMPD headquarters, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.